In this video, I am going to install this mirrored bathroom cabinet. This wall is plasterboard, but is only about three inches thick from one side to the other. Inside, there is cardboard, which is often called an egg box partition. I'm going to use grip it fixings in this demonstration, as these are probably the best type of fixings to use in situations like this. The grip it fixing will give us a really strong fixing and will ensure that the cabinet stays where it is. Because this is going over a wash basin, you need to decide the exact position for the first fixing. This can be done by measuring the basin and drawing a faint line down the centre of the basin on the wall. You can then measure how high the first fixing hole needs to be and how far from the centre of the cabinet the fixing hole is. You can then mark the wall for the first grip it fixing hole. I'm using the dedicated Grip It 25mm hole saw in this demonstration as it is the preferred way of drilling the hole. But you can of course use a flat wood bit if you prefer. I'm now carefully drilling the hole through the wall. You will notice that I have used an old envelope and some masking tape stuck to the wall to catch any dust. Now that the hole has been drilled, it's now a good idea to put your finger through the hole to check that nothing is going to prevent the grip it from opening fully once inserted. This is the grip it fixing that I'm using. It is the blue version, which can hold about 90 kilograms each. I'm now tapping the grip it into the hole and I'm now using a slotted screwdriver to turn the center of the grip it. You can see in this footage what happens when you turn the slot in the grip it. To get the position for the next fixing hole, we need to measure the exact distance from the center of the first fixing hole in the cabinet to the center of the second fixing hole in the cabinet. I'm then going to measure from the center of the grip it and then mark the position for the center of the second fixing. To ensure the fixings are level, I'm using a spirit level to mark the position for the second fixing hole. I'm now drilling the second hole using the grip it hole saw. This hole is a little problematic in that the cardboard is in the way of the fixing. So I'm going to remove the cardboard using the grip it on the cutting tool. This simply fits in the drill and is used to remove any obstructions from the back of the hole. I'm now going to tap in the second grip it fixing and turn the slot in the center of the fixing. It's much easier to hang a cabinet by yourself if you remove the doors first. So it's simply a case of undoing two screws per side to remove the doors. Because this cabinet is second hand, we do not have the original fixings that came with it. So I'm using some large diameter washers and some screws to fix the cabinet to the grip it fixings. Once I have one screw started, I can then insert the other screw before using the spirit level to get it perfectly level before tightening both screws. Once the cabinet is securely fixed, you can then replace the doors. I'd like to thank you for watching this video, and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel.